Well, I have a certain sympathy with uh, the idea of Brexit, um, the, but the problem was, like the referendum you had here, in a way the question was badly posed. Um, if I took an analogy to this, uh, the, I, I was much more in favour of uh, Scottish independence. And I was in favour of Scottish independence not because I believed in Scottish national identity or Scottish culture or anything like that, but because the purpose of the separating Scotland from, from London was to get out of the austerity politics. And, and so here you had a, ter a territory that was saying, we want to get out of the control of this, this government that is, that is not delivering goods to the people. So I, I was very much in favor of that. Now, Brexit was never really posed in those terms. Uh, and, you know, for me it was a very, it would have been very difficult decision to vote one way or the other. Because uh, I, I felt if you, if you voted to stay in the European Union, you were in fact a vote, giving a vote of approval to a set of institutions that have done what they've done to Greece. And I think that's, un, that's unthinkable. You know, why would, I could not, I could not vote for remaining inside of an organization that did that. And, but then I kind of go, well, why are people wanting to get out and you get all this anti-immigrant stuff, which I can't stand and dislike. And so wh whoever you voted for, you were in bed with somebody who was very nasty. And, and that was the same as the American election. You know, whoever you voted for, you were in bed with somebody who was very nasty. And he didn't want. So I, I think, uh, for me, Brexit was, it, it could have been a, uh, a, a, a good argument about, all right, well, in what ways do we want to use a sovereign power of the state, which has been diminished by membership of the Union, to undertake a different political program? But that was never really put on the agenda, and it was never really fought for.